Pursuit of the Gun Show. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. Welcome back to another episode of In Pursuit of the Gun Show. And today we're going to look at occlusion training. So what the hell is occlusion training? Well, here it is. With occlusion training, you only want to be using about 30 to 40% of your one rep max, which is great if for some reason you need to be training with lighter weights uh, and you still want to get a great hypertrophy effect. You want to wrap the upper arm to about 70% of your max tension that you could get. So you're restricting the venous return blood flow, but not the arterial blood flow. And what happens is all of the metabolic growth factors end up pooling in the muscle you're training because they're not being flushed out. And this leads to a greater hypertrophy effect. So you want your first set to be a high rep pump set. So you want to do 30 repetitions on your first set, and then each subsequent set after that is 15 repetitions. But you want to be focusing on light weight and going for that pump. You want to take about 30 seconds rest in between sets and you don't want to have these arms wrapped for any longer than 20 minutes in total. Before we get into the workout, I want to check my bicep measurements. So I want to get a cold measurement before I get a pump on and sort of see where I'm at so far in the program. And if you can check it there, am I about right? Yeah. Okay, well, and get out of the way there. All right. yeah, about 16 and a quarter. Just over 16 and a quarter, which is pretty good considering I started right at the beginning around 15 and a half, and then uh, probably once I really got into the meat of it, I was just under 16 inches. So I've gained a, over a quarter inch so far. I'm pleased with that. Let's get another workout. Okay, so now we're looking at occlusion training. So we wrap the upper arms with basic knee wraps, and we wrap them up at about 70% of what the max tension we could achieve was. So what we're trying to do here is basically pump repetitions. The first set we're doing 30 reps, or as close to 30 as we can, to, th to fill those bitches up with blood. Nice, come on, pump it out, Drew. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be supersetting these. You're supposed to take about 30 seconds rest in between sets. We're gonna move right over to triceps. Nice. Now each subsequent set after this first set of 30, oh, there you go, Jesus is going to be Christ. 15 reps. All right, triceps. Oh my God. Yes, feel the pain, embrace the pain. Pump set. Pump it out. One, two, three. Good. Nice. Fill those arms up. Good. Gonna get swole. So we're supposed to do about 30 to 40 percent of what your one rep max would be. So it's a fairly lightweight. You intentionally have to go light with occlusion training. And you're just going for fast pump repetitions. First set, 30 reps. Two more, come on. Good. Let's go, tricep. Come on, easy. Let's go. Bands wrapped about 70% of what max tension you could achieve on the bands. These are just basic knee wraps. Good. All right, come on, pump those bitches. They okay? Not too tight? Right. We're just doing three sets. That's it. You got it. Fill those babies up. Pump it. Make them grow. Make them grow. Oh, yeah. Holy God. Oh, man. You got it. Pump it out. 15. Yeah. 
good. Light, light weight. Come on. Good. I believe how much it burns is painful. It should be painful. Come on. Good. And how much do you normally cur curl, Drew? 60. 60 pound dumbbells for like 10 reps. These gone down from like, like 30 pound to 20s here, and he's still getting fatigued from this. All the blood is pooling. All the metabolic growth factors are filling up those biceps, and they're not allowed to escape. He's getting a, there you go. A good hypertrophy effect with a really lightweight. Finish him off, unwrap right after this set. There it is. Awesome. So, get him off. Oh, the relief. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feel the blood flooding the in there? Yeah. Here's another way to set up a homemade grip roller. I picked this one up from Spitty, a diesel crew. <laughs> Basically, you take a band, attach your resistance to the bottom, hang it over the end of an Olympic bar, and then loop it around once, and you've got your wrist roller. Same basic idea, rolling it up with control, controlling it on the way down, and continue in the opposite direction. 